What is up guys, Rysum here and welcome back to Space Engineers. Planets are here, ready to be conquered and explored. But what good is exploring a planet if you don't have a ship to fly around in? Well, look no further, I introduce to you the Hydrolite. The Hydrolite is a planet to space vehicle designed to transport passengers, cargo and other small ships from the surface of a planet to the outer reaches of space. The craft is capable of both landing on planets, returning to space, and making in-atmosphere flights. This is possible because the ship sports all three types of thrusters. Everything on this ship is 100% vanilla and I've also built it survival ready. The Hydrolite can accommodate 8 passengers for long duration flight and also offers over 35 small cargo containers for plenty of storage. The Hydrolite uses electricity and ice as a fuel source, so fueling up is as easy as mining a lake bed or placing down some solar panels. Because uranium is so difficult to find on planets, I've included almost 30 batteries and I've even placed in a backup reactor. On either side of the ship we have two hangars and these hangars serve as the entrances to the ship. So if you come to the hangars you can press the button on the button panel right here and it will open up the hangars just like so. And we've even got some warning lights just so everyone knows that they are in fact open. Alright, once we get in the ship, we can close the hangar behind us. Man, I just love the sound they make. Like the pneumatic sound, it's lovely. Okay. And now it's time to go into the ship, but before we do that, I want to show off some show off some features. So we've got full air support in here, so you can see we've got um we've got a hundred percent oxygen. Now we've also got our um our turrets here for uh, extra protection on small ships and also we've got a connector for connecting up our small ships to the main cargo all right and let's say um, I've included a bit of a safety here so if you leave this door open and you go to open up the outside hangar it automatically closes it for you so you don't depressurize yourself of course it doesn't matter on this planet but it's a cool feature nevertheless now we've got an identical hangar on the opposite side, marked hangar A. And this is the main hallway of the ship. This will take you to all the different places. So let's start out with the rear real quick. All right, if we make our way down here, you can see on the left and right side, we've got access to the two cryopod stations or bays. Now you see there's four cryopods per bay here. And if we access this, we can access the lighting and we can turn those on. There we go. Now they glow. So this is where um, all the crew can sleep and stay during um, long duration flights. Now moving on to the front of the ship, we're going to be heading into the main cargo hold here. Now this is the cargo hold. We've got all the cargo and storage containers in here got the middle level here, the top deck, which is just more containers, and we've also got the bottom deck. Now the bottom deck sports um, all the cargo containers like the top two, but it also has the medical room for respawning. Also there is a floor at the very bottom, but it's just for displaying the gravity generator. Whoops. There we go. So in the middle deck, this will take us to the cockpit. And the cockpit is probably one of my favorite features of this ship just because of the view you have. Now I designed this with flying and first person in mind, so this is what um, this is why I place so much glass in everything. So I really thought it turned out pretty amazing. I just love the amount of visibility I have. Now as you can see we've got the main pilot seat here and we also have programmable blocks and flight seats 
along the side here for controlling processes and we've got two co-pilot seats as well. Now I do have the text panels up there and if you use those with the programmable block you can in fact display all of the vitals and um, statistics of the ship so like fuel levels and all that. We have also have a air vent of course and we have the interior turrets for more protection. Keep in mind this whole ship is oxygenated so you don't have to worry about keeping your helmet on. And that about sums up the tour of the inside of the ship. Also on the top of the ship I've included a landing pad for transporting even larger craft. This small atmospheric ship here is called the Raven. My friend Venom made it and I have to say it looks absolutely amazing. If you guys want to check out his ship or download the Hydrolite for yourself, the download links are in the description below. Now that's all I've got for this episode, but I'd love if you guys would leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about the ship and its designs, the things you like, the things you don't like. I appreciate all the feedback. If you guys liked the video, be sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.